Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on when you're watching this and where you are. My name is Melissa from Designs by Little B, and today we're going to do a video talking about sorting files using Embrilliance Essentials. I did a video in my Facebook group, a live video, at facebook.com slash groups slash Designs by Little B group, or you can just look up Designs by Little B on Facebook and the group should pop up. I did a live video where I used my cell phone and I talked about some of my recent designs and I said, do you guys want me to sort some videos, uh, sort some videos, sort some designs on this video? And they were like, yeah. And so I turned my phone toward my computer screen and proceeded to sort the files and show them how to do it. And I didn't realize until after I had gone back and watched the video just for content that Pointing a cell phone at a computer screen is not a good way to show anyone anything, especially the tiny buttons on um, some software for embroidery. So I decided to go ahead and do a whole video about it. Now, if you don't know what sorting is in embroidery, when those of us who make a lot of in the hoop items, we like to be as efficient with our time and materials as possible. And one of the ways that we do that is by stitching out multiple key fobs, lip balm holders, um, etc. at once. So when you do that, obviously you don't want to go in and change your thread every time between everything, especially if you have a multi-needle, I mean a single needle. So we do what's called sorting in a hoop. So you take one thing and you multiply it, you sort out the colors, and it'll stitch all of the reds at once, then all the yellows, then all the blues, or whatever you're doing. Now, within the last, I would say, year, I started offering all of my embroidery files, my little um, in-the-hoop files like felties and snap tabs and key fobs, um, the eyelet stuff, in a sorted fashion, thanks to my wonderful assistant who helps me sort my files. But there are some digitizers who do not do this. Or you might have purchased one of my older files before I started doing that. So I just want to show you how easy it is to use Embrilliance Essentials, which is the best software in the universe. I can't prove that, but that's my personal opinion. And it takes literally seconds of your time. So what I'm going to do is, I've got this window open. I'm gonna show you. I've got my fire truck fobs right here. I like to use PES, so I'm going to just click on it, drag it over to my software. I'll move that out of the way. Now, if you're using a four x four, this is all you can do is one because it won't fit with more than one. It's just too wide. But if you're using a five by seven, here's what I will do. Go up here to this folder, see how it has preferences. I'm gonna click on it. I've got my preset preferences. I'm gonna choose five by seven, okay. Now I've got a good frame for my sorting because it shows me exactly how much room I have. I'm gonna go up here to my fire truck, select it. Now there's multiple ways of doing this just like there's multiple ways of doing anything. My way is not necessarily the best way. It's just what works for me. You can go up here where it says copy and you can hit copy and then you can hit paste and get your results that way. What you need to do, you're trying to make probably, I'd say maybe four fire trucks. The way I like to do it, because, because I use a, um, a Windows computer, I do Control C and V, and you see that kind of ran it out, but I just copied it. Same thing with up here. You can do Copy, Paste. Same, I just got the same results. I have three fire truck fobs now, okay? So now they're all stacked on top of each other. Obviously, you don't want to stitch them like that. So I'm going to take my first one, and I'm going to turn it. See your little arrows? Rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. I've said it a million times. I'll say it again. I love how in Embrilliance, when you hover over a button, it tells you exactly what it's going to do. I've heard that there's other softwares out there that, like, you see the buttons, but you don't know what they do until you push them. Embrilliance tells you exactly what you're about to do. So I'm going to rotate this one 90 degrees counterclockwise. Okay. Now I'm gonna click on it and just simply drag it. Maybe up here, okay? With my second one, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Select it. I'm gonna hit rotate clockwise, grab it, and drag it. I'm gonna give myself 
as much room as I'm comfortable with cutting right here. Since these are all going on red for a fire truck, I'm comfortable with this little um, amount of space I have here. Now I'm going to select my third one and I'm going to flip it the same way as the first. Click. Now I'm going to go up to center in the hoop. And it's obvious to me that I'm not going to be able to fit another fire truck in here. I'm also going to go down right here. You see these measurements? This, okay, this one right here is your hoop size. Five and a sixteenth by seven is what mine is set up for. Right here is what I currently have available. I mean, what I currently have set up. Four and eleven sixteenths, which is perfect, by six. Well, obviously I know I'm not gonna be able to put any more fire trucks in there because I can't exceed seven inches. So I'm done with the placement. I'm comfortable with this um, space I have between to cut. If you're not, you can go back in and you can move slightly however you'd like. I like to center it, see what I'm doing. Okay, now here's how easy it is to sort them so that you're not doing how many steps? Oh my gosh, 27 steps I have now. Go up here to utility, color sort. It does its thing. It tells you it has been reduced by 18 color changes. That's a big deal. If you stitch a lot of key fobs, you know what a time saver this is. Go to new view. And I like to go to the new view instead of saving automatically because I just like to see the design before I save it, just to make sure everything came out okay. Now, Embrilliance has never let me down, but I just like, I'm a perfectionist. I like to see just to make sure. And I like to go in here and I look at my steps and it looks like they were sorted appropriately. If you're a real picky person, you can do, okay, there's a placement the alarm, windows, tires, ladder, blah, 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 blah. Um, there's the little circle placements for your snap tab, which I don't use. So I go in and I just hit delete and delete those because I don't, I don't need those. That, that's a, I find that to be a waste of my thread. And then final stitch around the edge. You can also go up to this stitch simulator, click on it, and you can get a little quick view as fast or as slow as you want of how it's gonna stitch out. And I see now, looks really good. So now I'm going to go up to File, Save Stitch File As, and I would go into the folder I want to save it, and I would type in Fire Truck Snap Tab um, 5x7 DLB if you want. Just whatever you wanna save it as, whatever makes you comfortable. That's it. That's it, you guys. One more awesome thing I want to show you about sorting in a brilliance is how intuitive it is at knowing what you're trying to, what order you're trying to stitch in. Let me tell you what I mean. I have a monogram font called Cupcake Monogram with Outline. It is a gorgeous, let me drag it over here. It is a gorgeous font that has um, a traditional looking vine font, but then it has an outline around each letter and it is beautiful. It gives a perfect effect to things with prints or something you just want a little pop of color. If you are like a college football fanatic, you can use it and do like um, one color for the letters and one color for the outline for your team colors. It's just a really versatile and great font. So I'm going to go into the two inch. I'm gonna take out the M for my first name um, a B for my middle name, was my maiden name, and then an H, the capital H, as the bigger H for my last name. And now I'm going to just simply drag my letters in the way that pleases me. I think that looks really good. And you see how the letters overlap, like of course you expect a monogram. Now, watch this. So you can see when I zoom in, you see the outline of each letter, okay? So now I go up to utility, I do color sort and new view. And if you look, you'll see that Embrilliance was smart enough to know that I want my M and B and each respective outline, then 
I want the H and the outline on top of that. You can see that by opening up, expanding your design here. I've got M and B, outlines, H, and H outline. And that's how you get gorgeous results like this. That's a beautiful little baby gown I got on a destashing group a couple of years ago. I'm sorry, I don't know where to get them now, but check out that beautiful result. And that resulted in, in, in only changing my thread colors um, like twice instead of changing them like six times. So that's another thing I really love about the sorting feature is that it's smart. It knows what order, like what is layering on top of one another. And of course, I always go in before I save it and look to make sure that, I, that it's sorted it correctly, but it has never let me down. In fact, the first time I saved this font, this exact font, I thought I was smarter than in Brilliance and I stopped it and, and changed letters before I realized it was smarter than me and it was doing the work for me. And I ended up messing up a monogram because I was trying to be smarter than the software. So it's kind of like the smartphone, like it's smarter than you are. So I hope this video has really helped you um, learn and understand how to use the sorting feature or the color sort feature in Embrilliance Essentials. I am not an employee of Embrilliance, but I am an affiliate for them. And if this video or any of my tutorial videos have made you want to go purchase any of their software that is um, any of their modules like um, Essentials, Enthusiast, Stitch Artist, Density Repair Kit, any of those, I'm thrilled and honored if you use my affiliate link that I will post in the comments of this video. Regardless if you use it or not, I hope that you've learned a lot in this video and in all of my videos. And I hope you go check out my Facebook group and join us because we do stuff like this all the time where we're all trying to learn from each other and just make beautiful embroidery. Love you guys. See you in the next video and chat with you in the group. Bye.